Hello everyone, this is Nyessa, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim, a bard song. There are a couple of changes that I would like to go over before we get started today. First off is that I have disabled realistic needs and diseases. Um, you all saw me failing to use it properly previously, but I did some reading and I followed some instructions, did some play testing, and it turns out that it isn't just me. I'm having some sort of problem with this mod that will not allow me to drink directly from streams or refill empty water bottles and things like that. And those are pretty important things, so for now, until I can figure out how to fix that, I'm disabling the mod. Hopefully we can bring that back in later, but we'll have to see. Another change that I've made is that I set the time scale so that time will pass a little more slowly in Skyrim, and we won't be feeling as rushed. I actually meant to do that from the very beginning, but I forgot to do it then, so I'm doing it now. I have also increased the brightness, so hopefully you'll be able to see better in some of the darker areas, especially now that we're going up to Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, I have added a couple of more mods, and you can take a look at those on my official mod list. You can take a look at the link in the description to see that. Alright, that's it for now, so I'll see you back in the game. Well, I've had a good night's rest, and today's the day that I go up to Bleak Falls Barrow. But I realized this morning when I woke up that I had forgotten to do a few preparations that I intended in my haste to get here to Riverwood before nightfall. Now one of these is easy enough to do here. I'm sure Alvor won't mind if I use his forge and his equipment a bit. So let's go ahead and do that first. I I can't believe that I already forgot like the lesson that, that Adrian taught me just yesterday. You're but <laughs> if I want to have good protection, and I do, I'd better make sure that I have a very good fit on my gear here. So let's take care of that now. Hmm. Looks like I don't have enough leather to do both of these, so... I'll do that for now, and hopefully I can get a little bit more leather from Alvor so that I can fix up this shield a bit. Now, it's a little bit early, and I don't think this shop is open yet. But I'd like to go in and see if Lucan might have a few potions that I can buy off of him. I meant to do this yesterday, actually at the potion shop down in Whiterun, but I completely forgot about that. And I'm not really feeling up to learning a new trade today, so... The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Hold your horses, Lucan. I'm getting to it. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need some help from you. So what have you got for sale? Take a look. Okay, let's look at his potions. He does have some restore health potions. And I can only afford one. Unless I sell him some things too. What do I have? Oh, well I can sell him this extra dagger. That's for sure. But that's not going to get me very far. Maybe this frostbite venom. And I don't need this much wine. So I will keep one bottle of wine and sell the rest to him. Don't need these empty bottles. And I 
don't really find wolf meat to be all that appetizing, so it won't get me much, but I may as well get rid of it now. Now the books. I don't want to sell any books if I don't have to. At least, not yet. I haven't had a chance to read any of these. But, well, it's not like he's going to pay me much for them anyway, so I may as well keep them. Now let's take a look again at his potions. I can buy two of them. That'll have to do for now. Thank you, Lucan. Till next time. It also occurred to me this morning that I Wait, so don't have to do this alone. You're not serious. I don't have to go charging up to deal <laughs> sure with bandits I by myself. I mean, my mother never did. When she stuff, had to deal with bandits to help the village, she on, gathered a group of people who were willing to go and help her fight. And if they do, now, I don't want to ask Hadvar, because he needs to get up to solitude as quickly as possible, especially if he's going to get my names off the wanted lists, which is certainly something that I want. But I do have another friend here. Divine smile on you, friend. And on you. Uh, Feindal, I was hoping we could talk. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village. Is it agreeable enough that you'd be willing to defend it? I understand that you're good with a bow, and I was hoping you might help me deal with some bandits that I have to take care of. Lead the way. Well, thank you. That was easy enough. I guess there's no use putting it off any further. We've got our gear pretty well established. We have a friend to come along and help us out. The only thing that I have left to do is make sure that I have everything ready. So, I've got my steel sword. I've got my shield. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my hood now. It'll give me some protection if I need it. I also want to make sure I have this lantern heavy, uh, this lantern ready, in case I need some light, which I imagine I will if we're going into a barrow. And let's see. I guess that's it for now. Let's go. Morning, Alvor, Sigrid. Watch over your battles, friend. Thank you. I'm going to need their protection if I'm going to succeed at this. So, according to Camilla, we need to go up this way. But instead of turning right up here, which is the way to Whiterun, we're going to keep on going up. Is Feindal behind us? Yep, he's right there. I wonder if he has any armor. Doesn't seem like it. Well, hopefully he'll be able to keep his distance from any bandits that we run across. Oh! Are there any more? Well, at least this means that I get more leather. Feindal? Great. Did I already lose Feindal? Are you coming? Come on. <sighs> this is not going to be a fun trip, I can tell already. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this. That looks like prime bandit territory to me. And there are people there. Let's uh, let's approach slowly, and see if they 
or aggressive, or if they'll let us pass. Feindal, be ready. We may have to defend ourselves soon. They don't seem to be bothered by us. Oh. Never mind then, we'll just be on our way. Back off. We're backing off. Alright, Fandal. This may be a really good time to ready your bow. We're certainly not going to let these bandits get in the way of doing what we have to do. So what I'm thinking is we get a few pot shots at them and then attack. Ready? gonna catch on to us soon enough. All right, let's go. Where's the other one? You're ready to die today, huh? Yeah. Got around me. Uh. Got him. Anyone else? Fandal? Where did Fandal go? Oh, there you are. I was worried. Alright. I think that's all of them. So... Let's take a look and see if they have anything we can use. Get my arrow back. Ooh, a backpack. That could have come in handy for sure. Lockpick. Hmm. hmm. Well, let's take everything for now. We can drop anything that we don't want to keep later. Get some of these arrows back. And let's see what's inside. Now there may be more in their hiding, so let's go quietly. Don't mind if I do. anyone hiding up here? Yes. Now ain't this a surprise? Uh. Got him. Okay. Anyone else? I think he was the last one. And look what we have here. Their ill-gotten loot. Uh, I have the feeling I'm not going to be able to carry this very far, so we'll leave that behind. I'll take all of this for now. What I'm thinking, Feindal, is that you need some armor. I I've hope you don't back. mind wearing something used. What do you want me to carry? Let's see. Let's give you this fur armor or the studded armor now let's go with the fur oh my wait yeah let's go with the studded armor um and I'll go ahead and give you this helmet 
Let's see. Fur shoes. They're actually a little bit better than the hide boots. So I'll give you those. And the bracers. And everything else I'll hold on to for now. Actually, I have an idea. Why don't you take... Ooh, actually that's better than what I have. I'm gonna hold on to this. You go ahead and take this sword. So that if we get into an up-close fight, you'll be able to defend yourself that way. And I... Lead on. We'll take a look at this war pick. Ugh. Not exactly what I've been trained to use, but it looks like it'll cause a whole lot of hurt if I need it to. Let's see don't want to have any need right now. Apples, those could be useful. And cabbages. Alright, let's get going. We don't want to waste any more time here. We've got more bandits to deal with before the day is done. Oh, it's getting cold up here. And it looks like we're just about here. Those bandits in that tower must have been sort of a, an advanced lookout. Hopefully this snow will hide that we're here until we can get up close. Keep your eyes out, Fandal. Let me know if you see anyone up there. I don't see anyone yet. But I've no doubt there's somebody up there. There. Did you see him? I caught a glimpse of somebody up there. Seems to have gone back. Hmm. <sighs> no use in waiting any longer. Let's do this. That's what I get for not being prepared. Pray to Stendar while you can. Go ahead. Try it like that. I'm slowed down. Anymore? Ah, oh, oh, I'm really hurting now. Ooh. So not prepared for this. I think we got him. Oh. 
Okay. Arrows. Hmm. I think we'll leave the rest of this there. Uh, I've got to sit and rest for a bit, Feindal. I don't know if this was such a good idea. Oh, what was I thinking? Ah, oh, okay, arrows. prepared for this but we've come this far and if we leave now they're just gonna regroup maybe recruit more bandits and be even harder to get to if we try again later and they may retaliate against Riverwood now that we've been up here they may see the village as a threat and decide to come after the people there so there's no way we're going back now. You know, as my mother always said, a Nord never runs away from a challenge. Well, okay, she said that half the time. The other half of the time she said a Legionnaire never backs down from a challenge, but same message either way. We're not going back. We're gonna keep going forward and do this. Maybe we'll just be a little bit more cautious. Thank you for coming with me, Fandal. I'm pretty sure I'd be toast if it weren't for you. Let's go. more than there. Let's hope they don't see us. Hmm. This place is creepy. I can see why Hadvar had nightmares about it. And it looks like the bandits have had some of their own trouble here. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I missed. Got her. Okay, they're coming. Hey, your own guy. You call yourself a yes, I do, actually. Do you? Huh. Well, those were a bit easier than before. Maybe they left their best outside to guard. Ooh, that's nice. Oops. I wonder how much of this they got from raiding villages and waylaying travelers. quite ready to put my weapon away yet. Who knows how many of them there are here.
Ooh. They did have some trouble. No more than they deserve, I suppose. Okay. Let's see if I can still do this. Now, I learned how to pick locks from a friend of mine at the first inn that I worked in. One day, the innkeeper accidentally locked everyone out, but my friend, who was working in the stables, managed to get us all back in and taught me how he did it. Ah, just like that. Hmm. Not a lot useful, but at least it's something to get out of this trip. You still with me? Good. Oh, spider webs. Well, I knew this was going to be a messy job. More skeevers. I feel like I need a face mask to keep all the dust out. Okay, looks like someone's been living down here. Maybe. Got a potion and linen wraps. Could maybe use these for bandages. I'll take a couple. The further we go in, the more I feel that I really didn't prepare myself well for this. Did you hear that? What just happened? Okay, it looks like he was alone, but that was some kind of trap. I think it's safe to stand up and get a proper look here. Hmm. Poisoned. And it looked like this activated as soon as he pulled this lever. So... Tired already? What time is it anyway? We haven't been out here that long. Okay, so as I understand it, these look like the totems that we used to use long ago in the past, back when we were worshipping animals. We've got an eagle, a whale, and another eagle. And the snake here, another snake, and a whale. Looks like that one fell, so we've got three up here, three down below, hmm, and a health potion. I'm probably going to need that before too long the way things are going. Okay. 
Let's take a closer look at these. Oh, they move. Aha. Uh -huh. Snake. Snake. And looks like that's a whale up there. So, what happens if we do this? Snake. Snake. Whale. Okay. Fandel, you stand back. If I'm wrong about this, I don't want you getting hurt because of me. We'll stay low and dart out of the way just to be safe. Okay. Ooh, it worked. Well, at least that means we can keep going. I was halfway hoping that that would be the end of it, but... Let's see. A book. I'll take that. And that potion. What do we have here? More arrow arrows? Oh, and some old coins. These might be worth something to the right buyer. And a soul gem. I don't hold much with trapping souls for enchantments, but... If it's already been done, we may as well get something out of it. Alright. Looks like we're going down. bite. Ow. Okay. I can't let a few skeevers stop me. Not if I've already gone through several bandits. A scroll. Hmm. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, Hot Deer? Your Soling. Do you hear that, Fandal? There's someone else down here. I wonder if, how we got through that trap. But I need help. He mentioned the claw. Yeesh. This doesn't look good. Let's see if we can get through here. Oh. Spider web, spider eggs. And there's the spider. This is a good time for arrows. Ah! Back me up, Bangal! Time for one of those potions. Okay, Fandal? That was rough. But I think we're okay. Help me out of here. 
And look what we have here. Hmm. Get me down! Get me down! You can wait a minute. Get me out of here. Spider eggs to sell. Help me out of here. Hold your horses. Don't leave me for RK's sake. Eesh. You over here. Hmm. What are we going to do with you?